Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. And boy, do we have a video today. Dell Technologies, aka Dell Computers, is up a whopping 31%. So we're going to be talking about what's going on and is now the best time to invest in it. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys do, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you guys are like, who is this guy? My name is Carter. I'm a full-time trader in the stock market. And with that being said, I look and evaluate a lot of stocks. So guys, we're going to be talking about this. I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys want to learn how to trade in the markets, I do have an amazing school where I teach people how to trade. We have live streams, quizzes, lectures. It's absolutely fantastic. Check it out. Code YouTube with all caps. Check it out down below. SwingTradingMasterclass.com. Check it out. But all right, let's dive into this. So what is going on with Dell? Looking at the chart, you guys can see that this thing lately has been on a nonstop roar up, going from lows at $31, hitting highs at about you know $95, and then Today, this thing squeezed up 31%. So this is a crazy move. A stock doesn't do this every single day. As we look at like the minute chart and we zoom out, you guys can see how fast this thing moved up. Went from 94 to 113, hitting highs at 116, rallied up to 134, and then pretty much continue to push its way up. So again, an extreme amount of buying pressure. Now, what happened? Well, they released a, a pretty much something called an earnings report. So this is when the companies come out and they give you all the details about the company. They give you the fundamentals. They give you the revenue, the cash flow. And guys, they beat expectations here. So as we look at this article here, you guys can, whoops, you guys can kind of see what I mean by this. Um, all right, Dell Tech beat EPS, also known as earnings per share. Let's go ahead and make this a little bigger so you guys can see. This is what um, analysts think. So shares um, were up 38% over the past week of Dell Technologies, and this was because their revenues were $88 billion, okay? Approximately in line of expectations. So pretty much what happens is every quarter or pretty much every earnings, Wall Street will say, hey, I expect Dell to bring in this amount of money. Now, if they beat expectations, often this causes a lot of buying pressure involved. If they miss expectation, this pretty much causes a lot of selling pressure. Now, if they're on par with, you know, with expectations. Honestly, not much happens. Sometimes we may get a little buying pressure involved. It all depends on the other thing that's very, very important is earnings per share. So let's continue to read through here. So one thing here, uh, approximately in line with expectations, earnings per share, also known as EPS, performed better. EPS of uh, US $4.36 were better than expected, beating analyst predictions by 15%. Uh, earnings are on uh, important time for investors as on track or as they can track a company's performance look at what analysts are forecasting for the next year. So this is super important. So anytime when you have something that gets beat by Wall Street, what did I say? We see a tendency of getting a lot of buying pressure. And earnings per share is very, very important because it tracks performance and it possibly could track future performance. So it doesn't cause a huge surprise. Now, what do I think you guys should do? Should you buy, sell, or hold? Well, you always hear this expression of buy low, sell high. It's hard to buy low when the stocks at all time highs, you know, but for me, I definitely think right now we're seeing a variety of companies, you know, that are hitting all time highs. You know, one of the more popular ones is NVIDIA. This is another technology company, you know, and as we look at like the S and P 500, you guys will kind of see that right now we're hitting, we're hitting all time highs in almost everything. The S and P 500 is up. Let's look at QQQ, which is a tech, um, you know, this is a, whoops, uh, this is a very, very important um, NASDAQ ETF hitting all-time highs. So right now, we're hitting all-time highs with a variety of companies. Buy low, sell high. It's hard to buy low when things are at all-time highs. So the best approach and the best mindset I would have is one, you know, dollar cost averaging is a great way to invest into a lot of these stocks just because just because dollar cost averaging, what you do is you just invest consistently. So if Dell Computers or Dell Technology sells off a little bit, you just average down that price. So when it recovers, you, you make a lot more money. On top of that, I definitely think right now we're seeing a little bit of 
in a little bit of an overvalued marketplace. You know, and what I mean by this is we're seeing companies like Dell, Nvidia, you know, Microsoft, all these companies that are tech and AI related that are absolutely moving and grooving, which is normal, but I definitely think a little bit of some sort of pullback, five, six percent sell off could definitely be very, very healthy and sustainable for long term growth. And as we look at, you know, some of the some of the more important things of Dell Technologies here, the EPS is up, like I said, 95%, which is an astonishing move, beating expectations by by 15%. As we continue to scroll down here, though, you know their revenue is still down 10%. You know it went from 22, it went from you know uh, 22.5 to about 22. Point, it looks like. Five two, so you know a little bit of a slowdown. The cash flow is down. I just think Dell Technologies for me. I, I would rather sit on the sidelines than invest in it. But that doesn't mean you can't make money from it. I just think that we could be seeing a little bit of an overflated, a little bit of an overvalued marketplace, and I would rather just sit on the sidelines or dollar cost average it than go heavy into it. That's kind of my mindset, my approach with it. But guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you're buying Dell computers. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Take care.